kind of money that we're talking about that Palace would be prepared to pay United falls below United's valuation and hence what could United do with that yeah. money with regard to bringing in a replacement but there's going to be quite a few arrivals and departures in, uh, at United in the last 10 days of this window. It's madness, isn't it? There is only 10 days left for these teams to kind of get every bus bit of business sorted. I was talking to Pep Guardiola, I'll just drop that name on the floor, mm. but he did literally say it's super dangerous. This is the dangerous period of a transfer window with just 10 days to, to go. When you think you've done all your business and people start getting interested in your players, particularly in a World Cup year when all these players want to play. I find it fascinating. Anyway, that's me just going off on a tangent. But look, Harry Maguire, this is another one that I find absolutely fascinating because potentially he could be on the bench tonight. That's what we're being told. He's going to start on the bench tonight. Could he really be on his way to Chelsea? Well, there was a very good story uh, in the Daily Mail on Saturday by Sammy Mockbell. Uh, and he said... Uh, as far as uh, he was concerned, he'd heard that when Manchester United were in talks to sign Christian Pulisic from Chelsea, mm. uh, Chelsea had brought up the name of Harry Maguire, uh, and they were interested in signing him. Now, we know they're trying to sign another centre-back. They're trying to sign uh, Wesley Fofana, uh, and it's not surprising, of course, uh, because Sammy Mockbell reported it, uh, that... The story is sorry. I don't want to judge somebody else's story, no, but no, of course there's there's truth in it. Why why so, wouldn't there be uh, truth in it? I think Chelsea would be interested in signing Harry Maguire. The the sounds noises coming out of Manchester United though is uh, the player is not for sale. Yeah. Now you could make a very good case for the fact that maybe Harry Maguire needs a, a new start. Um, I remember. 12 months ago, let's not forget, he was in the Euros team of the tournament, mm. the official UEFA team of the tournament. Mm. Uh, they thought he was one of the two best centre-backs in the Euros. So I know he gets uh, a bit of a bad press and people make fun of him, uh, but let's not forget what a great player uh, he is. So there was interest from Chelsea in him, but I think it's only if they fail to sign Wesley Fofana. And the so situation... he's kind of like the backup option, potentially, for Fofana. Mm. You, kind of. you said I said that. You said it, not me. <laughs> Uh, but the Wesley Fofana situation, everybody knows he didn't play at the weekend. He's not in the right frame of mind. Uh, Brendan Rodgers uh, said, you're not playing. Uh, you're not focused on uh, Leicester. He wants to move to Chelsea. Brendan Rodgers uh, described it as the player's dream move. But, of course, Leicester won £80 million for him. Now, the information we're getting from Chelsea is, yes, they've spent a lot of money this summer, but they don't want to pay over the odds for players. I know everybody thinks they've got lots of money and they're going to throw it around. But when it gets this late in the window, this is what teams do. They do pay. Yeah, the I, I don't think they've got, I, I don't think Chelsea Chelsea going to pay what they think he's worth and they've already offered up to £60 million. £80 million, I'm not sure they'll go to that. They may get close to it. What is interesting is Chelsea are playing Leicester this Saturday. So I would think from Leicester's point of view, you wouldn't want to sell Fofana to Chelsea and then have him potentially play against you on Saturday. Mm. Uh, so maybe if this deal is going to be done, it'll be done after Saturday. But will he be in the right frame of mind for Leicester uh, to face that, Chelsea? That's exactly. I mean, if he wasn't in the right frame of mind right. a couple of days ago, what's going to have changed in the oh. next few days? Dodgy business, isn't it, this transfer window? <laughs> Only ten days. <laughs> ten days left. Uh, plenty, though, for Arsenal fans to get excited about so far this season. The high